Hello, my name is Jim Payton. I live in Hamilton, Ontario, and I am a retired university history professor. What I'm speaking to you in this video about is something we shouldn't need to be concerned with, being misled by a Synodical Study Committee report. As the HSR wraps up its argument to support its call to recognize confessional status for its interpretation of unchastity, the committee urges, quote, by the word unchastity, the catechism intends to encompass all sexual immorality, including homosexual activity, end quote, page 146. Then the HSR immediately cites a recent synodical decision of the RCA, quote, the Reformed Church in America acknowledged this in 2017, affirming that in the catechism, quote, God condemns all unchastity, which includes same-sex sexual activity, end quote cited in footnote 244 from the Acts and Proceedings of the 211th Regular Session of the General Synod of the Reformed Church in America on page 161. So the committee here appeals to a synodical decision of the RCA in the hope of having the CRC Synod likewise affirm such a decision. That looks like it should click for CRC folks. After all, a General Synod of the Reformed Church in America, another Reformed denomination, one the CRC has especially close relationships with, has already itself explicitly adopted this interpretation of Heidelberg Catechism, question and answer 108, thereby according it what would amount to confessional status in the CRC. But this is a misreading and a misleading use of that 2017 RCA General Synod decision. It's like comparing apples and oranges and appealing to that RCA General Synod decision to urge the CRC to embrace confessional status is like squeezing apples to make orange juice. Now, to get why this is so, we need to recognize a couple of significant differences in the church governance and structure patterns of the RCA and the CRC. Now, stick with me here. It's not complicated, but it requires just a bit of explanation. The RCA is a constitutional church but the CRC is a synodical church. And because of that, synodical decisions have significantly different authority within the two denominations. The RCA is bound by its constitution, not by pronouncements of its assemblies, even a general synod. Within the RCA's constitutional structure, a general synod cannot make decisions which function as binding statements on the denomination. Any additions to or changes in the RCA's constitution would have to go through an arduous, complicated, lengthy process. In contrast, the CRC is a synodical church. For the CRC, doctrinal declarations made by Synod are, as our church order, Article 29 states, quote, considered settled and binding unless it is proved that they conflict with the word of God or the church order, end quote. That is emphatically not the case in RCA polity the 2017 RCA General Synod decision does not and cannot have binding authority in or on the RCA. For the HSR committee to appeal casually to this 2017 RCA General Synod decision without making that distinction clear will be misleading to CRC readers. That is already problematic enough. But the problems with this appeal to the 2017 RCA General Synod decision don't stop there. The minutes of the General Synod leading up to that decision would have shown the HSR committee that its appeal to that decision for a CRC audience was misleading. The committee's simple appeal to this 2017 RCA General Synod decision found at page 161 of the RCA's Acts and Proceedings for 2017 ignores what led up to that decision, an extended and contested discussion found at pages 152 to 161. What transpired in that discussion contrasts dramatically with the significance the HSR implies for it. To lay this out briefly, Overtures 35 and 36, virtually identical in, warning, in wording, asked the 2017 RCA General Synod, quote, to adopt the following act of declarative authority. In accordance with the nature of the church's authority, the General Synod declares that the Bible teaches, one, marriage is a covenantal union between one man and one woman, and two, all sexual activity outside of marriage 
is a sin, including same-sex sexual activity, end quote. These overtures were quickly denied. In fact, the overtures, the reasons appended to them, and the decision to deny them all covered were all covered in little more than a single page of the minutes, pages 152 to 153. The reason they were denied is straightforward. The advisory committee said in response to them, quote, it is not within the authority of the General Synod to make this sort of declaration without making a change in the Constitution, end quote, page 153. These overtures were attempts to circumvent the arduous, complicated, and lengthy process that would be necessary to effect such a change. They were attempts to establish what would be, in RCA governance packaging, the equivalent of confessional status. But those overtures were rejected summarily. Overtures 37 and 38, again, virtually identical in wording, and from the same two church bodies that had submitted Overtures 35 and 36, asked the 2017 RCA General Synod, quote, to clarify that the Heidelberg Catechism, question and answer 108 and 109, categorically condemns all unchastity, which includes same-sex sexual activity, and that faithful adherence to the RCA standards by all assemblies and officers therefore entails the affirmation that marriage is between one man and one woman, end quote. These overtures, with their numerous and detailed reasons, covered pages 153 to 158. Notice that the wording here is another attempt to get the RCA General Synod to make a decision that would be binding on what they called all assemblies and officers. Again, something that would work like confessional status would in the CRC. It is worth noting that before these overtures came on the floor, the advisor committee, operating on the basis of RCA polity, deleted the phrase, by all assemblies and officers. Why? Because a general synod in the RCA does not have the authority to make such binding decisions. When the overture, overtures were brought on the floor of general synod, extended discussion ensued with several amendments proposed but not adopted, pages 159 to 161. Eventually, the decision cited by the HSR was indeed adopted on page 161. But the General Synod minutes show clearly that this decision would not be considered binding in any way, even remotely approaching what confessional status would, would entail within the CRC. That 2017 RCA General Synod decision was not, and by RCA polity could not be, binding on RCA assemblies and officers or the denomination. If the HSR committee had read and thought through these General Synod minutes, as they should have done, to make sure that they were not misrepresenting that decision, they would have recognized that the 2017 RCA General Synod decision actually moved in an entirely different direction than the HSR Committee's citation of the decision would suggest to our CRC readers. Indeed, that decision moves in the opposite direction, away from any notion that it would be construed as binding on office bearers, assemblies, or the denomination. Now, perhaps someone might object that this is being too fastidious. After all, the HSR committee members were not church order experts, and church order issues can be complicated. True enough. But it would have been easy enough for the committee to check with experts in the church order to make sure they were not misleading CRC readers by appealing to that 2017 RCA General Synod decision. Three members of the committee work in the same seminary faculty as the CRC church order expert. And even after the pandemic restrictions kicked in, they still could have checked with that expert by email to see if they had things right. They could also have emailed the RCA's church order expert to make sure they had rightly interpreted and were accurately representing that 2017 decision. That's what I did and the two church order experts confirmed my assessment. This appeal to the 2017 RCA General Synod decision is misleading for CRC readers. That's not something CRC readers should have to be with, concerned with in a synodical study report. But that's where we are with this report. <music>